Hey guys, welcome to Your Best Interviews. My name is Eric Smith. Thank you so much for spending the time with me. Today, what I wanna talk about is how to answer the question, what are your greatest weaknesses? Um, this can be seen as a trick question or a tricky question to answer. Uh, everyone has weaknesses. Everybody knows that. What the interviewer likely is trying to do here is catch you either not prepared or to catch you throwing something out that, that maybe you didn't mean to, right? So the best way to prepare for this is to practice, right? You have to practice well in advance. You have to know exactly what you're going to say in this situation because if you get caught off guard and you haven't practiced or thought about this, it's much easier to throw out something that isn't good and could eliminate you from the process, right? Um, if you're not prepared and they throw this question your way, it's easy to think, you know, be like, wow, sometimes I'm late or like I'm just really bad with time management. Um, maybe that's true, but that's probably not your best answer when you're trying to get the job from them, right? So you wanna think about this in advance. Um, you wanna take an honest look at yourself and really understand what are my weaknesses. Like you know where you're strong, but you know where you're weak. Uh, I've got, I, I'm certainly aware of where I'm weak and it sometimes it sucks to have to think about it and acknowledge kind of what your true weaknesses are. Um, but what you want to do is think about your weaknesses in a way that isn't damaging to you getting that job, right? So again, if your weakness is I'm just always late to things, I'm never on time, that's probably not your best answer. It's also something you really want to work on because uh, that's going to get exposed if you're always late to work and it's going to be hard for you to keep a job. Um, but that's not the, that's not the um, answer that you want to give. What you want to think about are what are some of the weaknesses that, that, that you can lean on or, or say in a way that's not going to hurt you, right? Where you could say, you know, an area that I've been trying to develop is this. Or an area that I, you know, I know that I need to really develop in order to progress in my career, in order to get into leadership is this. And, and so you're kind of framing the weakness in a way where you're aware of it and that you're working on it. Right. So instead of saying like, yeah, I'm just late all the time and um, this is what it is. Like you're, you're maybe saying something like, you know, for me, I'm somebody who really likes to own a project that I'm working on. And uh, sometimes that can hinder my ability to collaborate with others when it's my work or I'm responsible for the deadline. But I know uh, I'm aware of this and this is something that I'm working on because I do want to get into positions where I'm working in larger teams on larger projects. And so something I've been working on is um, how I'm collaborating, how I'm breaking up what I'm doing to collaborate with other or, or other parts of the business today. Um, so it's just like that's a maybe a, a bad example. But what you're doing is you're framing the weakness in a way that you're aware of it and that you're working on it. Um, because you know it's better for you, it's better for the company if you want to continue to progress. So it's just showing that you're self-aware and it's something that's not super damaging um, to you as a candidate for that job. So that's how I would answer that question. Um, but overall, guys, my advice here is you have to practice. You have to think about this stuff well in advance. Don't get caught off guard by these questions because that's when you give answers that are really damaging and hurt your ability to move forward. So do your homework, just put the time in practicing, think about these questions ahead of time. I've got a whole list of questions on my website, on my comprehensive interview course, all these things that help you think about what's gonna be asked well in advance so that you can practice these answers so that you're not caught off guard and that you can frame your weaknesses in a way that it's not truly a weakness or it's something that it shows that you are super self-aware and that you're working on the things that that you're saying are weaknesses because you want to develop as a professional, as somebody who could add greater impact to them. That's what they want to hear. They don't want to hear, you know, things that that are big red flags to them. What they want to hear is that you're self-aware, that they are real weaknesses that everybody deals with, but that you're working on ways to overcome those so that you can continue to progress as a professional, um, as somebody who can add value to them. So good luck. Do your homework. Do your prep. Think about this stuff in advance. Don't get caught off guard. Check out my other videos. Check out my course. I've got a lot of things that can help you here, guys. Good luck.